Bentley is running well. The back of your car, no, the back of your Bentley actually makes me slightly sad. <laughs> Honestly, I mean, I know Bentley aren't very good at styling um, motor vehicles these days, but this has got to be their worst effort, easily. It's near, no, wait, the Continental's worse, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's not as bad as that. It is amazing, since Rolls-Royce and Bentley split up, how different they've become. And that is the small Rolls, or Proles Rolls, as we should call it. The Proles Royce. It's a good name, that. Proles Royce, the cheap one. I think slightly less expensive is the, is the expression you're looking for, isn't it? The biggest problem with the Rolls is that it's too similar to the Phantom. It's just smaller and cheaper. So the only reason for buying it is because you can't afford a Phantom. It's like when you see a film that's got Stephen Baldwin in it. You just think, those producers couldn't afford Alec. <laughs> Nothing really worth bothering with. Are you going to give me a hand? No. I think it is important to stress at this point, because of the really genuinely exquisite carpet in there, that if you murder somebody uh, and want to put them in the boot, strangling. Don't, whatever you do, shoot them or stab them, because there will just be leakage. Oh, no. God above. What? Mark, he's not light. Can I just ask? What? We could have tested the size of the boot for a body by just putting a person in it. We didn't have to murder them. You could. BBC Health and Safety Rule number 47, no live person shall oh, go in the boot yeah, of a yeah, car. No, bend, bend that back there, around there. Bend that one back around there. Right, OK, right. All right. <laughs> oh, he not quite got his... Can, can that knee come up here? Yeah, there we go. There we're getting there. We are, getting, we are no, so we're getting so there. We're so nearly there. there. Yes. 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 OK, excellent. Right, now, the great thing about the Rolls-Royce is it has self-levelling rear suspension, so when the boot is shut, you won't know from the way it's riding that there is a body in there. So the boot won't go down. Right, you get him out and put him in the back of the Benz. What? Get him out? Well, we've got to see if he goes in the back of the Mercedes, haven't we? You are still alive. <laughs> I think we might have actually killed him. <laughs> OK? Yes. All right, good. <laughs> Sadly, there's a fridge in the boot of the Merc. Which... Hammond, have you got a puncture? Because I think you have. No way. I think you have as well. Right front. Hammond. No way. As a world's top motoring journalist, have you not detected that your steering's gone a bit oboe-ish? Do you know what? I think that is. I've never seen one of these work. Yes, they always work. I don't think they do. I've yeah. used one. It worked a bit. So how does that go in? Is that pressurised in there? I think it's pressurised so in we don't here. Need to pressurise it with that. But we could always consult the handbook. Don't what? do that. What we do is. I'm worried about you for a long time, James. The good thing is we're not on a busy road. I reckon in less than two days that will be ready to roll. <laughs> Then I discovered that I also had a puncture. Why didn't you swerve round it? What? Why didn't you swerve round it? How have you done that? Well, I think I can only think it's one of those sudden, sharp potholes that you get in the middle of the road. That's quite bad. Right now, the only car that's working is the Bentley. It's not working well, but it is working. <laughs> Got to go to a tyre depot to change his tyre. No, the Bentley's broken. I'm sorry to bother you in Albania, but could I have a push? Thank you. Yes, thank you, Albania. Luckily, I didn't have to go too far to get the Rolls's bulging tire fixed. Rolls-Royce approved. So they sell them. And... Yeah, 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 service, main service dealer. Yeah. What are you doing now? Finding the tire pressures. Can I just read you the Rolls-Royce instruction book, as it should be written? Wheels and tyres, call a man. Replacement of wheels and tyres, call a man. Safety switch, call a man. Switching on and off, call a man. Safe seater position, call a man. All three cars are now working well. What's that over there? That tunnel. Let's go and have a look. 
I just want any excuse to get away from the smell of petrol in here. I've no idea what this is, but it looks, I think the word is decrepit. In 1961, Albania pulled out of the Warsaw Pact and the Russians were really cross, so they went back to Russia and left for whiskey-class submarines here. But there's only three, so I don't know where the other one is. Sunk. So they were Russian subs maintained by the Chinese and operated by the Albanians, and I bet that's a fearsome combination. Oh, yeah! That... <laughs> but the Americans were going, oh, no, we can't go down to the eastern Mediterranean because those Chinese-maintained, very old Russian subs operated by the Albanians are there. I wonder if they're for sale. What are you going to do with a submarine, Jeremy? Well, drive about in it. You could scare the living daylights out of people on cross-channel ferries. It's going to need some work. Good restoration project for you, James. You could put it in your shed and make it work. <laughs>